Hey guys and welcome to Truth Channel 101 and today we're going to be making this commercial in Blender using a few tricks. So we have a lot going on here, have some particle systems, so we're going to look at lighting. This ad was inspired by Pixel Heads, I think it's an ad studio, uh, they make a lot of ads and uh, their renders are really fantastic. So I took inspiration from them and uh, yeah this is what we're going to be making. In Blender. If you want to follow along, I'm going to leave a starter project with all these assets we're using, like the bottle, uh, the chocolate, bars, oranges, all these fruits in a download link below. And uh, the final project will also be in download links below. You can get it as a Patreon or a YouTube member or on my Gumroad page. So yeah, let's dive in and uh, look at how we can create uh, something like this. So you can see our project file consists of uh, these uh, splash liquid things. This is not a fluid simulation. It's just something I modeled and uh, then I animated it to appear like a fluid simulation. So let's look at how I did that. To model the water, you just start with a plane like this. Give it a few modifiers. You can start with the subdivision surface, apply the subdivisions and add an, a second subdivisions. Uh, then add a solidify modifier just to add some thickness to this. Keep the subdivision level to one for the first one. Add another a second subdivision surface uh, so that we have something like that. And then you can add a displacement modifier to add some uneven surfaces. You want the displacement to be above the solidify modifier. So let's add a new texture. It's going to be a cloud texture. I can turn on this on cage feature so that we can edit what we're seeing. And uh, this is just a starting point for the type of splash we're going to be making. Uh, we, we're going to need a lot more detail than this. So what I'm going to do is uh, have a copy of this, put it aside in case I want to revert from there. And then right click on this and then Ctrl A, Visuals to Mesh, so that we can apply the modifiers because we want to do some sculpting on this to add more detail. Start adding in some extra detail in the water. Push this in a bit so that we have a splash. So now that we are done with that, we can start setting up everything. Uh, the material for this is going to be very simple. It's just going to be chocolate uh, material, uh, very reflective like that. Okay, we need another splash. You don't have to make many. You can just make two and uh, just rotate the next one. Uh, so this is going to be the milk. Yeah, it should also have some subsurface. I'm going to set up the camera. We can add our bottle. So let me get some bottles here. I can animate the bottle rotating. So I'll add a few keyframes. And now that this is parented to the empty, I can rotate the empty the way I want. We can start setting up some lighting for this. I want to start by lighting the fluid itself. So I'm using Blender 4, 4.0 because of light linking. I want to light the fluid and the bottle separately. So to do that, I'm just going to grab a light that by adding some rim light 500 okay I'm realizing that my subsurface might be a bit too much and to make sure that this light only affects the fluids I'm just going to go to the properties shading light linking new collection and just drag these splashes into that so I'll just get this splash and this oh oh and either way is just grab the bottle and uh, which way is a bottle it's under this empty so grab the bottle bottle and drop it in here and just exclude the bottle so that the light is lighting up everything in the scene except the bottle so you can see the bottle doesn't get any light but everything else gets we want some heavy backlighting you can duplicate this to the back here and maybe some foam from the side and the key light and let's try just to keep everything organized have them in a collection called fluid lights now we can start working on the bottle lighting so I'm going to add another area light and this time uh, this should only affect the bottle let me first hide the fluid lights so you can see this is affecting everything so I'm go going to select this light go to the object properties new light group and just grab the bottle put that in and now you can see only the bottle is being lit lights behind this like this I like those highlights and how they create separation and add silhouettes onto uh, the surface. You can see how useful light linking is. We are lighting behind the fluid but because they are excluded from 
from our light source they're not casting any shadows to the light so that's good and uh, now i want some lights some highlights on the front here uh, which are going to also be uh, our reflections so i can bring back uh, the fluid lights now let's work on the background so i'll just add a plane rotate it 90 degrees scale it put it in the back this is just going to be a translucent material so i'll add a translucent material and behind it i can add a point light just like that and uh, this can be any color i want and that gives us a nice gradient we can also work on these adding these light rays and uh, that's just a simple image texture you can search on google sun rays and uh, you should get something like this any of this could work either with a transparent background or a black background yeah so just grab that beam of light put it in front and uh, i'm just going to switch to ev for a bit here so that i can make this material transparent no shadows you can see this still looks good even in ev which is nice this is going to be an emission with transparency so i can blend that uh, the transparency is going to come from the alpha channel if your image doesn't have an alpha channel you can just feed in the color directly i think i need to swap these and we have something like that you don't even need this to be in the color and I just play with the color you can even add a math node change it to multiply so that you can control how strong uh, this is uh, maybe i could show you how i made the chalk the chocolate bars and uh, they're very simple all you have to do is just extrude something like this these are a small bevel hard normals and uh, the trick is just adding uh, the material yeah something like that and uh, then you get a roughness of grunge map i'm just using my texture folders to import that so i'm going to go links in the description if you want to get that makes texturing a bit easier the next thing i could do is just connect this to the roughness you should have something that looks like your crate or if you want you can even add a uh, a ramp and just make this a bit rougher if you want more details like the broken pieces i added in all you have to do is uh, create a cube subdivide it and uh, give it a uh, displacement so something like that i'm going to apply the first subdivision so that i can shape this a bit because i can use this as a nut as well so i can duplicate this and uh, this is going to be our bite uh you need to apply the bevel here and uh, use a uh, boolean select this as the boolean and uh, we have a nice bite that's one side i want the bite piece as well so i'm going to duplicate this and uh, first let me apply this i can get rid of this for that all you have to do is change from difference to intersect so that you get the other side now uh, these pieces should be able to fit perfectly what i'm going to do is come in here create a new let me call this seed or not let me call this not uh, i want the noise to be a bit stretched on the z just a bit like that and that is going to go into the bump we we'll also want to use it as some color so i'll use a color ramp here just give it some make it look like not so yeah, something like that for the insides of this so to sculpt mode and uh, turn on enotopo come in here and just add a few extra detail so I'm basically adding more vertices to select. So now I can just come in here and just make that selection. It will look more organic. Give that another material, uh, the nut material. And we have that, of course, you still have these jagged edges. But uh, if you want, there are several ways you can fix that. You can use vertex paint. So I can come in here and do a paint, uh, the area that I want to have the bite now i can come back here uh, just copy this setup here come to this paste it in here and use the vertex paint we have just created and that is under input attributes attribute see the mask there and uh, we can blend these two materials and now we have that okay so let's work on the animation i'm going to animate let me select these set a keyframe there uh, switch my pivot point to nvidia origins go to frame one scale them down like that something like that i'm just going to bring them closer so that we have that and i want them to continue scaling up but slower so something like that you can already see that uh, things are starting to look 
good you can also animate this bottle so that is starts out so around there we also want it to start so it should speed up up to there and then slow down like in slow motion the next part is uh, working on the particles so we're going to use geometry nodes for this so i'm just going to add plane you want it to be concave a bit like that so that the general direction of normals is pointing like that we also want to this to be subdivided we can go now to the it's actually much easier to make the animation the particle animation with uh, the particle system but the issue is that you can see when i change the theme these particles also change which i don't think we can do with a particle system we we have no way of changing the collection mid mid animation and that's why i chose to go with our uh, geometry nodes so you can see that uh, each particle changes to a different object mid simulation so first of all uh, let's have some particles so distribute particles on faces we need a set position so that uh, we can push these out and uh, we want to push them out by their normals like this but uh, right now if we just do that it doesn't really do much but if we do a uh, vector math with the operation of scale push these out am i doing this correctly oh yeah the normal should come from the particles so they can be pushed out like that so to have this animated you can animate uh, this value so so it starts off at zero actually this should also be very small like that uh, that means i need to increase my particle count so i can start up to zero and then here just scale push these out like that and uh, then slow down their push a bit so just like that they're all evenly pushed out so what i can do is come in here use another scale another vector math operation scale and uh, this time use a noise texture just give them some random value a bit so yeah so they are not evenly pushed out scale them out further just a bit like that so we have our particles can increase the particles perfect now let's turn those particles into instances i can do a uh, instance on points and just grab my collection that is the chocolate collection reset separate children and then use these as instances and uh, pick instance like that so if we go to our camera view here we get something like that we want some random rotation so i'll do a random random rotation should be vector so negative 1.57 and positive 1.5 i uh, use that there so we have that and i uh, also need a random scale uh, it should be a float yeah something like that i would reduce the influence of this noise a bit so i want to add some random animation to this i can use a math node a vector math node and I just rotate these slightly and uh, i would have to match the animation i have here so i can come to frame one set a keyframe and uh, this keyframe add value of 16. now the last step is just changing the theme changing the bottle changing uh, the particles and uh, the colors and everything so to do that i guess we can start by changing the bottle you have to get the different bottles you just have them in a collection called bottles and uh, go to this already animated bottle and go to geometry nodes and create a point using a point a points node so that's just going to be a single point and an instance on that point now what we want to instance our, our bottles so i'm going to grab one by one if i use this as the instance you can see we have that and then we also have this so we want a way to switch each of these one by one switch them out one by one and so to do that i'm just going to join them i'm going to join them into this and then just connect them one by one like that we want to display these one by one and uh, this join join geometry uh, creates a collection of geometries uh, that are indexed according to how you place them here so this would be index zero one two three four so what we can do is use that index so i can use the index 
and sample index and this is going to be the geometry this is going to be our geometry and this should be a integer and uh, now this setup here the sample index and the index will allow us to select what object to show and you need to turn on pick instance another thing you need to make sure to do is change these to instances and also make sure that these are instances as well so make sure that these are also instances so that they can be recognized here so i can go through these one by one so i can animate this at this frame i want this to be that index so we go with index one up to a certain place uh, so we need this to be constant uh, so we only change around there so let's change from this to these uh, strawberries have them in a collection and uh, have another collection of oranges grapes okay now we can come to this here see we're using this collection but we can't use the same setup we used here the join geometry setup uh, because it just mixes up other different collections so let me show you what i mean so we want the strawberries and we want the oranges and then uh, our grapes so if you try using the join geometry again we need to reset separate children yeah if i use a join geometry and connect in my strawberries you can see they become mixed with uh, the other instances or the other collection so you can see we have the chocolate we have uh, the strawberries if i add in the oranges they'll also just get mixed in there so it doesn't work very well what we can do is use a switch node and a, just switch the geometry depending on what we want or depending on the frame so i'm just going to switch this so after we come after here we want to switch to berries so i'll get the strawberries here so if i connect this as the instance you can see i just i can just animate this here 37 i can switch to the berries just like that so yeah perfect and uh, then at frame 40 I want to switch from these to oranges but we don't really we don't have a third option to switch from on here so what we can do is just grab another switch and uh, basically switch from this setup switch from this setup to a different setup so i'm just going to connect this so i can just switch this to a different setup and that setup is just going to be another setup here so another switch geometry yeah so i can switch to oranges like that and uh, if i don't want it to be oranges you can just switch to the other collection but right now i want it to be oranges i should also be animated then the other thing is just animating the materials the materials are the easiest to animate all you have to do is just change the color on the frame you want keyframe the color so here and uh I also need to change the background color so that's just the animating the light here uh, if you want and uh, you can do the rest of the animation like that that was the animation other project files are going to be in the description and helps out the channel helps fund uh, these projects so that uh, other tutorials are at least free now uh, that's what we meant if you are still in the mode of learning blender here are some previous tutorials i made for your viewing thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video